I'm with the, the team with, of limestone, from Limestone Journeys that's exploring the artefacts from Old Elmton to try and prove or disprove that it was a, a medieval village. We have got evidence from old records that it was medieval and we've also, in some of our excavations up on site in the village of Elmton, we have found various uh, pieces of medieval pottery as well. When you get permissions to go into one person's garden, do a test bit, neighbours come out, oh, what are you doing there? Oh, do you want to have a look at And we, we explain to them how we think the village grew up with the main road and then the two back roads and then, oh, we found some bits and pieces of old pottery or what have you in our garden and it becomes infectious as you go along the village. I've been carrying out uh, practical conservation work, I've been carrying out play activities, bringing something back into the community but also working with vulnerable people, adults and children, uh, where I'm teaching them about the environment, uh, the world around them. I've worked with, for example, teenagers who have been so disruptive, in trouble with the police all the time, always get into trouble, fights, arson. I've taught them how to channel their energy and I have actually had a number of success stories where some of the teenagers I've worked with have actually gone on to get jobs and they've worked within the council doing conservation work. Cheers! Cheers. I just love being outside. If I've got a problem, I want to go and sort it out. I go and walk somewhere. Um, that to me is absolutely fabulous. So a lot of the reason why I'm involved with Derbyshire Wildlife, I do a lot of the butterfly. I do butterfly counts for them as part of uh, the national survey. So I just love it because you can be outside, you can be involved with people. It's just um, a really, really good experience. And I'm lucky enough to be retired, and therefore it's something I've got time to do. Where I work at Bolsover Woodlands Enterprise, what we essentially do is woodland management. I work for an organisation that uh, works with adults with learning disabilities, enabling people to get out there and enabling um, those people who have a real passion for the environment and, and want to participate more in that environment. The, all of the guys live in the locality, so they're working on the local environment. We have a, a, a huge industrial heritage in the area and quite recently we were left with a lot of very unsightly pit tips and pit yards and those have been landscaped to turn them into to parks for people. Guys will go in with quite professional equipment, thinning out trees, cutting the paths back, clearing the paths, participating in the maintenance of these sites that were once the, the sort of industrial playgrounds of their, their parents. I have recently done a project for Limestone Journeys. This was taking young people through the schools. We invited schools from funding from Limestone Journeys to come into Limestone House and think about the past, present and future, which was a title that actually meant heritage, environment and con conservation. It all came from different schools in the Limestone Journeys area. So we talked about the past, what things were like there, why do we preserve the old houses like Hardwick Hall and so on, and the present, you know, do you think you're lucky to have what you have? Do you think we look after what we have? Should we look after it? The ten children that came, their story and what they'd researched went back to the school and the school fed that out to the other children. Uh, so, uh, and hopefully to parents as well, so that all ages could appreciate past, present and future and think what they want and uh, look to the conservation and look to community and look to environment you're giving something back to the local community and to your local surroundings, but you're also meeting people. You're learning all the time. The experience of volunteering is very satisfying. You learn, you appreciate, and you give. And in that giving, you're given back. The volunteering seems to be about us and about us doing for us and yeah. our... Uh, and, the, so and the area around Improving our yeah. area around us, yeah. improving our feeling for and, yeah. and, and involvement in the area. But I say to anybody who, who thinks they can help at all, every little helps. It might only be a drop in the ocean, but every drop in the ocean helps. So no matter how small your contribution, if it's picking it up a plastic so, yeah. bag that somebody's dropped, if it's just not dropping litter yourself, S simple things all mound up and actually help so just get involved and do something. <laughs>